one of the most common injuries that we see in our personal injury law practice is a spinal cord injury, uh, which is not uncommon in most car accidents. Uh, in fact, it's the one thing that we always want to rule out through the use of an MRI. Uh, an MRI is a a device that allows us to get a three-dimensional image of your spine and be able to see if there's any impact on your spinal cord due to the impact from the other vehicle. Often injuries following a car accident get uh, uh, lumped into what's called a soft tissue injury. In other words, just the muscles are inflamed and it's not until much later do we find out there's actually a spinal cord injury. Uh, these types of injuries can vary from a bulging discs to holes in the spine becoming swollen and pinching down your nerves, which can cause you what's called uh, paresthesias, which is numbness and tingling down your arms or down your legs. My recommendation to everyone is if you've been involved in an accident, you have a potential spinal cord injury. Um, you should definitely go and request an MRI, get an MRI done of your spine to make sure that uh, uh, everything is fine and then go from there. And hopefully the MRI rules out a spinal cord injury um, and then you can go forward with your very conservative treatment uh, to make sure that you get better, get better quicker without uh, wasting time ignoring your actual spinal cord injury. If conservative care, chiropractic or physical therapy doesn't work, really what you're looking at at that point in time is some care through pain management or potentially surgery uh, as well too. If you feel that you have had your spine injured in an accident, go see a doctor, but then the very next call, please give a personal injury lawyer a call and uh, talk to him about your case. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to discuss with our office, you can call me, Ross Jerwitz, at the Jerwitz Law Group.